So partnerships and uh, collaborations are so important when building the TV uh, ecosystem of the future is I, th I think the, the one major word that comes to my mind is interoperability. And, you know, everybody, no technology is going to come with what the quote unquote silver bullet. And there's always going to be um, areas where you're going to have to be able to work with other platforms, other technologies. And, you know, when you're looking to layer in automation and streamline workflows, there's going to be, there has to be some sort of unification and some sort of common language and goals between the partners um, within a, a solution or, or technology that we're offering out to the industry. And in order to speak to one another, in order to kind of create that end to end, that full solution, that, that, that silver bullet that the industry is looking for, you have to be able to inter interact, you have to be able to communicate and you have to be able to work um, and streamline those workflows between partnerships and bringing um, the, the technology that you perfect and what you're good at. And we think we've, we've come to market with about 90% of that. Um, partnerships are gonna be very important to kind of round out the technology offering and the solutions uh, for the industry in order for us to move forward, in order for us to kind of innovate and to be more dynamic um, with our solutions and technologies. So this isn't really about solution islands. This is about a collaborative ecosystem. Correct, right. And, and in order to move uh, the TV ecosystem into the new future, um, you're going to have to have sort of a, a standard language. Uh, you're going to have to have that, that, those standard and unified goals and objectives, right? Because there's going to there's gonna be multiple different companies and technologies that exist within the ecosystem. And if you're not speaking that same language, if you're not partnering correctly and efficiently and, and having the ability to interact with one another and coordinate with one another, you're going to have these like you said, these islands out there that are going to be continuing to keep the TV ecosystem from evolving and from growing because each one will be in a silo versus having the, the ability to engage with and to grow with and to interact with um, all, all sets of, of technologies. It's really interesting. It feels like a very distinctive feature of the TV ad market. So um, getting specific, what kinds of efficiencies or improvements do you think these kinds of partnerships can help to unlock during the next five years? Sure, I think, I think what we're looking at now with these collaborations and partnerships is looking at workflows. I think streamlining um, efficiencies, taking manual workflows, layering in those automations, having systems to systems talk. So things that used to take days upon days, if not weeks to kind of execute, um, campaigns can start on time. Things take minutes instead of hours. And it unlocks new opportunities uh, in the marketplace that could never exist before. So for example, uh, we recently uh, partnered with Freewheel on a, a set-top box VOD marketplace. And this marketplace couldn't exist before without a partnership in place. Because like you mentioned, like we talked about earlier, there were two separate islands. There was the programmatic marketplace, and then there was a set-top box VOD kind of creative management element. And the two of them existed, but they couldn't combined to create a programmatic channel across um, Set-Top Box 5. And because the two, the two of us were able to come together and form a partnership, we're actually to, able to create a whole new uh, arena where uh, the buy side and sell side could transact with and could actually uh, start to uh, reach audiences in a world that was just too complicated um, on each own to, to implement. But together, we were able to launch it and, and bring something new to the marketplace. That's a great example. So I know something else we've spoken about in the past is the role of partnerships, not just between different sell-side companies or different buy-side companies, but very specifically between buy and sell-side companies to really bring together different sides of the market. What, what, what can those kinds of partnerships do for the market? Why are they important? Sure, I, th I think they're important because it, it takes away a lot of the manual process. So in order for the buy-side to engage with the sell-side, there's a lot of different, I would say, um, touch points that you have to cross. There's different hurdles that you have to get over. Um, the way it's designed now, if you look at the buy side and the sell side, there are different groups within agencies. There are different agencies that work with different brands and, 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 and customers um, across different elements of a campaign. So when you, when you have all those different elements and verticals just on one side, and then you flip to the sell side, where you have even more complications and more workflows and more things that you have to do by enabling a partnership across both the buy side and sell, sell side, 
can actually start to layer in an end-to-end -end workflow. You can start to standardize things. You can start to unify. And again, you can get back to that common language where the buy side can have a single view of what they're activating across their media and communicate that all the way through to the sell side so things can happen through automation. You can start to, to work seamlessly. You can start to streamline efficiencies. You can start to create business impacts for uh, brands and agencies. You can start to see true ROI, layer in intelligence across everything because you have that single view. You have a partnership across both and the two can communicate with ease. And I know one of the areas you're particularly interested in, obviously, is how the transformation of workflows between buy sides and sell sides can really help. You mentioned it just there. C give us a practical example. You know, what, what can you do by bringing these two sides of the equation closer together, which actually makes a workflow work better? Sure. I, th I think automation is key because I think if you could have system to system talking, you eliminate a, a ton of manual workflows in, in some of the elements that I've witnessed over my career in the ad industry, especially in the, in the TV landscape, our things are just highly manual. And when you start to put in those manual elements and those manual workflows, things are just not run efficiently. You have days upon days, approval upon approvals, spreadsheets upon spreadsheets, different teams having to talk to other areas, and you just couldn't get things, you know, you couldn't get campaigns live on time. So there was opportunity there to, to miss out on, on impressions and on audiences and on revenue. Um, and then things would just take too long. They were too hard to get off the ground. There was even some examples where we would try to implement an idea and because it took too long or because there was too many kind of um, too many different departments touching something, it never happened. And there was a lot of wasted time and effort and resources and the workflows were just too difficult to, to implement. And now with, with these partnerships and these new technologies and, and the, the, the belief in automation, things are happening in a much more efficient way. Uh, uh, companies are seeing business impact by being able to not only save money, but to generate more uh, revenue opportunities and just be more efficient and more intelligent in the way um, they're working in reaching audiences. So summing up then, what do you see as the big priorities for the industry in the next couple of years? You know, where do you think companies from across the ecosystem need to really work together to, to build this marketplace? Sure. I think the, it comes back to the, the original thought I had with interoperability, but I'll change that up to a little bit to cooperation. And I think the, what the TV ecosystem needs to do is, is start to come together. Um, you know, everybody has the common goal. I think there's the, the big push towards addressability. I think that in order to get there, I think we have to start thinking about how do we work together? How do we drive towards that single ultimate goal of, of, bringing the TV ecosystem into the future and, and having the ability to coordinate, to kind of unify and to, and to really cooperate with each other, I think gets us there faster. I think without the idea of, of partnerships, we're all gonna be kind of stuck in our ways. And I, I love the, the term that you use on our, on our own little islands. And we'll continue going down this path of, you know what? It's too hard. There's too many steps we gotta do. There's too many hurdles we gotta jump over. But if we can communicate and we can start looking at the, the goal, the common goal, um, and, and partnering and, and using that the, the common language, uh, the standardization and unification, I think that we could we can get there a lot quicker. Kevin, it's going to be an exciting few years watching that unfold. Thanks for your time today. No problem. Thank you.